Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a Belmont Stakes recap regarding the Belmont Stakes race that took place yesterday. About, I would say, five weeks ago, I made a video and I noted one of my derby pick was Taprith to win the derby. He finished sixth in that race. Uh, but for this uh, Belmont Stakes, I decided to uh, bet on Taprith uh, for the Belmont Stakes. And the reason I did was, as I mentioned, the Kentucky Derby selection. This is the 40th anniversary of Seattle Slough's uh, Triple Crown campaign. Taprith is a male line descendant, a direct male line descendant of Seattle Slough. Taprith is a uh, great grandson of Seattle Slough. So, in terms of bloodlines, I decided to uh, select Taprith for the Belmont Stakes. Uh, even though they share the same bloodline, uh, both horses came from different upbringing. Uh, Seattle Slough's uh, story is that as a yearling, he was sold for 17500 He was actually became a rags to riches story uh, who eventually won the Triple Crown as a, while being undefeated uh, and winning Horse of the Year and becoming a very influential stallion. But in the upper, as I said, the beginning upbringing of both horses were different. Tapworth, in the other case, uh, as you see the underline, he was sold for $1.2 million. So, as they say, the circle comes full round. And so I decided to pick Taprith at the morning line odds of 6 to 1. I thought, okay, that for a million dollar horse and a greater one stakes, that's a good uh, value bet. So, that's one reason I decided uh, to bet Taprith on this race. The other reason, too, was. And in terms of the bloodlines, was is that Taprith is a grandson of is actually a great grandson of A. P. Andy, a son of Seattle Slough. The uh, similarities of Taprith and A. P. Andy are the same as their upbringing, upbringing because they were both uh, million dollar yearlings that were sold. A. P. Andy was sold for two point nine million dollars as a yearling, whereas Taprith was uh, sold for one point two million dollars. And um, another re reason why I decided to pick Taprith was uh, because of his trainer. And trainer Todd Pletcher, his first Belmont uh, Stakes uh, winner was Rags to Riches, a daughter of AP Indy. And Taprith and uh, Rags to Riches have a similar upbringing as both were million dollar uh, yearlings sold. So that's uh, why I uh, selected Taprith uh, for this race. And I made this bet yesterday at the Jockey Club in San Mateo, which is uh, around that area, or the, basically that, that area used to be where um, the Old Bay Meadows uh, racetrack used to be. Uh, a little historical note was is that AP Indy uh, won his second race at Bay Meadows. And... Uh, October of 1991. So, uh, that's where I made my bet yesterday. And um, as you see, the bet I made, what's called across the board. That's what the W, P, and S means. It's a uh, win, place, or show. Usually, when I try to make bets, I ch especially on big races, I try to hit for the home run, whether it's the trifecta or superfecta. Uh, several years ago, uh, my former co-worker, Mention about this bet uh, to place on a race uh, um, on a certain race, and she came. Uh, she told me about the term across the board. So, the first actually across the board bet that I ever did uh, this year was um, was Gormley, uh, who won the uh, who won the. I'll show you right here, Gormley right here, who actually who won the Santa Anita Derby, uh, and propelled him to be a contender for the Kentucky Derby. So I did across the board on him, and I actually won a lot of money because not only did he win the race, but I also won the first, the second place, and the third place uh, showing on the wager. So <clears throat> so that's why I decided to do a uh, an across the board. And I think in the future for major races, whether it's the uh, Triple Crown races such as the Kentucky Derby, Bel uh, Preakness, or Belmont Stakes, 
or one of those Breeders' Cup races, if there's a horse that I really, really like, and I don't want to play the Exactors Perfecta, I'll probably just do the the across the board bet. So if you see this across the board bet, it was a five dollars, as they say, across the board, fifteen dollars. Did the calculation? Uh, this fifteen dollars turned into a little over sixty dollars. Pretty good investment. So. Yeah, that's just the recap of the, you know, Belmont Stakes. And um, so we'll see what happens uh, in future races uh, when I make uh, certain bets. Um, but yeah, no Triple Crown winner this year, but who knows, maybe next year.